all about Angola. Angola is a Southern African nation whose varied terrain encompasses tropical Atlantic beaches, a labyrinthine system of rivers and sub-Saharan desert that extends across the border into Namibia. The country's colonial history is reflected in its Portuguese-influenced cuisine, and its landmarks, including Fortaleza de Sao Miguel, a fortress built by the Portuguese in 1576 to defend the capital, Luanda. The official languages of Angola include Portuguese, English, and the Angolan Portuguese. The mixture of Portuguese and African culture has made urban Angola, especially the Luanda region, more like a Latin American than an African country. Its nightclubs, restaurants and annual carnival might seem at home in Brazil, had not war and security measures made this sort of social life difficult. The villages of Angola put on traditional clothes as women wear panos, an African batik garment. The women also decorate themselves with different types of aprons and loin clothes, usually made with woven vegetable fiber. They put on body adornments such as bracelets necklaces, bead ornaments. The climate in Angola is very warm, with an annual average of 27 degrees, but has few truly tropical and sultry months. It is warm to hot all year round and invites to bat at average water temperatures of 24 degrees. The warmest and rainiest part of the country is Zaire, while the coldest is Namib. The current birth rate for Angola in 2022 is 39.313 births per 1,000 people. This is a 1.01% decline from 2021. The birth rate for Angola in 2021 was 39.716 births per 1,000 people, a 1% one one decline from 2020. The birth rate for Angola in 2020 was 40.118 births per 1,000 people, a 0.99% decline from 2019. Angola, which is also a country in Central Africa, is rich in natural resources. It has large reserves of oil and diamonds, hydroelectric potential and rich agricultural land. It is the last Portuguese colony in Africa to get independence. Angola is also Africa's seventh largest and the world's 23 largest country. After its independence, it suffered for years as civil war hit the entire country and lasted for 27 years and millions died. Angolans are extremely hospitable and enjoy entertaining friends and family in their homes. In Luanda, they may also entertain in restaurants or cafes since they have adopted more Western ideas about socializing. Angola has a high crime rate. Common crimes range from petty theft to armed robbery and carjacking. The risk of violent crime is much higher at night, and so if you revisit to Angola, don't walk alone or at night. The cost of living in Angola is very expensive. 
Most shopping is expensive and with poor quality and choice. Most express companies will provide additional allowances to compensate for the high cost of living. Angola's population is overwhelmingly Christian. About two-fifths of the population is Roman Catholic. About two-fifths is Protestant and some one-tenth adheres to traditional beliefs or other religions. The current religious makeup of Angola has its roots in the country's history. One of the best reasons to travel to Angola is its beautiful nature. We can say that the country is blessed by the magnificence of nature. It has a great number of various landscapes, white sand beaches, green hills, tropical forests, sandy deserts, splendid waterfalls and so on. The majority of today's Angolans are Bantu peoples, including Ovimbundu, Mbundu, and Bankongo, while the San belong to the indigenous Khoisan people. Traditionally, a largely rural people of the central highlands, Ovimbundu migrated to the cities in large numbers in search of employment in the 20th century. Portuguese is the only official language of Angola, but 46 other languages are spoken in the country, mostly Bantu languages. Some other significant languages include Chokwe, Kikongo, Kimbundu, Oshiwambo, Lukazi, Mbundu. The top exports of Angola are crude petroleum of about $17.7 billion. We also export diamonds, petroleum gas, refined petroleum and granite, exporting mostly to China, India, Thailand, United Arab Emirates and Spain. Angola is the second largest oil producing country in Sub-Saharan Africa and an OPEC member with an output of approximately 1.37 million barrels of oil per day and an estimated 17,904.5 million cubic feet of natural gas production. Hola or hello is the most common greeting. You might also hear Bonja, which means good morning. Boa tarde, which means good afternoon. Boa noite, which means good night. The life expectancy in Angola is one of the lowest in the world. And Angola has the 12th largest number of infant mortalities every year. The leading causes of death reveal that a low life expectancy is a result of preventable causes like diarrheal diseases, malaria, neonatal disorders, and influenza. There are 90 ethnic groups in Angola. Many following traditional lifestyles barely changed in centuries and live in remote landscapes defined by desert and mountain. Business opportunities in Angola are plentiful and one of the greatest benefits of doing business there is the amount of natural resources that the country has. The natural resources include diamonds, petroleum, natural gas, iron ore, copper, tin, cobalt, phosphate, limestone and salt.